Hot Topics. How you doing? Sean Waltman, <laughs> a.k.a. X-Pac, is arrested on three counts of drug possession in late 2011. What was your relationship like with Sean at this point? And if it was good, did you reach out or anything? Yeah. Yeah, d definitely it was good. It's always good. And yeah. I did reach out. And we had a bunch of conversations. And, you know, he, he was always under the impression that this is not going to happen. This is going to go away. And sure enough, it did. I don't know if he got anything out of all that at all. Uh, but he, he was under that impression from the get-go. Look, he was always a very uh, outspoken um, advocate for legalized marijuana. And he traveled with with things on him and, and you know what I mean and he didn't mind doing it and he didn't mind telling an officer if we got pulled over and he said I smell weed x pocket go hey that's mine here's the bag right here you know what I mean like he just didn't he didn't have a problem with it and truth be told they're not going to call you back to some town in Wisconsin to go to court over a you know ten dollars worth of weed <laughs> so um yeah I was in touch with him I'm always in touch with him one of my dearest friends are you giving a heads up as we're coming to the end of the year about you being in the rumble? Did they give you time to prepare or was this a spontaneous thing? Well, so, so it was a spontaneous thing and I had about a month to prepare. Um, I had not quit smoking cigarettes yet. So that was uh, a big problem for me in the match. Um, during that match, I got so blown up after hitting my stuff. I just got down in the cor in the turnbuckle, and my brother Scott was a ref on the outside, and he just came to me and he said, "Just breathe, just breathe." And that sounds funny to the person, but like at that point when you're so blown up, you literally need to stop thinking of everything else and just breathe. You know what I mean? And so he was he was talking me through it all, and I thought, "Oh God, here comes I got another part here. <laughs> I got to feed back up for something." But the funniest part to me, look, I, I appreciate Miz and Cody Rhodes both came to me and said, please let me be a part of the jabs. And I was like, thank you. Uh, let, let me do something. Let me get something in before I get beat up. Right after that, though, if you see, uh, if we ever watched it or you watch it again, you'll see Jack Swagger, big boat, raw bone shooter Jack Swagger. Like he was, after I did some stuff, I looked and there he was. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I just backed away from him because I was, he was beating people up and I didn't want to get beat up by Jack Swagger. Whose idea was it to put you in the match? The, the writers, you know, there's always a uh, nostalgic pop. Like I, I, I uh, when I was doing the rumble, I fought hard to have uh, Bubba Dudley come in in Philadelphia. I just thought, man, that's a that's one you don't want to miss. You know what I mean? Even if he doesn't do anything or win, him his music hitting in Philly means something. So I, I don't think that were the case. But they had a guy in house that could get a nostalgia pop. It didn't matter if he won or lost. Get the pop, do your jabs, get crap canned. <laughs> so working with guys like Jay and Wade Barrett, how is that? Fun? Oh, because look, I, oh, it's so fun. So fun. Look, I got to work with Usos later on a little more, but Wade Barrett, I'm a huge fan of Wade Barrett. Uh, everything he does, by the way, he's a star. He's a top-notch uh Classic. I like when he commentated Ultimate Beastmaster <laughs> on Netflix. Yeah, I did too. I don't even know if he really did that. I thought that was a Monty Python guy. <laughs> um, but 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 Wade Barrett, huge fan of his. So I thought, oh, this guy, you know, let him throw me out. Were you happy um, with the appearance? Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Look, it let me know uh, right after that I quit smoking cigarettes. Um, so that literally was the reason I quit smoking cigarettes at the time. I had quit taking drugs, but I was still smoking cigarettes. And I thought, man, I don't want to be smoking these cigarettes if I'm not drinking or doing drugs. What am I smoking for? And so when I had that occurrence happen, and I'm dead serious, we drove three hours to the next town after that pay per view, and. Even then, I tried to smoke a cigarette, and I couldn't. And I, I couldn't catch my breath. It was like it hurt so bad in my lungs. Uh, they were burning because I was fat and out of shape. <laughs> Uh, Sarah Walker at Sarah Wa, and then I think it's just her phone number. <laughs> no. Oh, no, don't read it out. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the DX split? By the way, I love the match with Waltman at SummerSlam back in 2000. So just mm. in general, I guess we're going back. Yeah, yeah. Look, I love the match in 2000 with the kid too. I didn't. I, that's when I was like really in active addiction, and I could I could have gone one way, and I went the other, and and that was. Uh, that's the the rest is history. But um, what was her other what was the other part of the question? Uh, the 2000 what, match. 